the golden mean spiral accidentally ends between the pyramids is so completely out of kilt that it has to be linked. You're dealing with several million, several billion uh, odds to one that it's you know, an accident. So the probability factor plays a very important role here. We're dealing with something that's connected. And uh, also through channelings and other psychic revelations, I've been told in no uncertain terms that we're dealing with some very advanced stuff here. And then when you connect Adam's pyramids through Great Zimbabwe, Enki's house, it lands right in the Great Pyramid of Giza. And um, all along the 31 degrees east longitudinal line, the Nilotic Meridian, right, which is also linked to the white lions of Timbavati, the sacred white lions of Africa. And you start seeing all this connection. It, it's just beautiful. It just unravels more and more. And then my beautiful friend Willem de Swart, who's decoded the numeric system and the secret numbers of God, made it very clear to me that the name Elohim is, equates to the number 31. El Elohim, 31 degrees east longitudinal line. So this gives us an indication that the Anunnaki and the Elohim are the same group of beings. I just recently did an interview with George Nuri. The very last caller that called in told me he was abducted by the Anunnaki 12 years ago before he knew any of the stuff we're talking about here. They told him they were tall, about nine feet tall, blonde, blue-eyed individuals. They told him they were the Anunnaki, and they also told him they were often referred to as El or Elohim. That was very interesting, and then the show ended, so I need to talk to him more. So what were all these stone circles for? Millions and millions of stone structures, all connected. Each one is completely unique, different, built with stones that ring like bells. What's going on here? Archaeological drawings show us that there are no doors and entrances, and some of them are concentric circles, like expansion, amplification chambers, or something to that extent, right? So are these connectors, these channels, actually like wires? Absolutely. So let's go back to what Nikola Tesla said. He said the earth rings like a bell and it's an inexhaustible source of energy if you know how to use the sound frequency of Gaia. And I believe that this is what it is. The cymatic patterns remind us of what we're looking at. The shape of Om. This is the shape of Ah, sand on a metal plate. That's what you'll find. So what we're looking at here is cymatic patterns from earth. Each one of these stone circles just simply represents the cymatic freak or the shape of the sound of Gaia at that particular point. And this is why they connected. So they created one huge energetic field. There's one example. There's a Hans Jenny's photograph, the circle in the middle and the, the spider's web effect outwards, the circle in the middle, spider's web effect outwards, except these were connected.